Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the sixth episode of Band of Brothers. Before I start, I want to tell you that you could already find the rest of my Band of Brothers reactions on my Patreon. So you can get early access to the whole season and you can also find uncut reactions there. So my full reactions to the episodes. Can't believe I'm already like past halfway now. But yeah, I'm still binging like this is the third day in a row i'm watching all of this i'm still sick so i'm still at home all day so this is basically all i can do and also i feel like i'm way too late with this sweater right now but when i'm recording it today is december 8th so christmas still has to come for me but when i upload this i think it's already like january or something but yeah i wanted to wear my christmas sweater and with that said let's just start this reaction when were you left for best time we're short of equipment oh yeah we didn't have enough ammunition. That's we didn't the have warm last thing we saw. We were dug in on that ridge. Sherman's knew right where we were. And they really gave us a shellacking. Well, like in Bastogne, we were down around, one around for men there for a while. Missed us and dropped them to the Germans. When I think I hit in the arm, a piece of shrap took his arm off above the elbow. And they were going to take him out to get my wristwatch off my arm. A medic came along, and I think he really saved my life because he stuck a serrat in my in a key position more you know, more feet even today we go to bed and uh, uh, my wife will tell you the first thing i'll say is i'm glad i'm not in bad stuff i get that oh snow even oh fucking hell Ooh, are their hands just literally freezing off I honestly felt like all the episodes we saw, they already wanted to give us the feeling of that it was pretty cold. And I was like, oh, I can't handle cold. This is nothing for me. But now, oh, no. Ooh, people are, okay, no, they didn't freeze to that, but, or did they? Uh, looks like they were attacked, but... But like, won't the drinking water freeze as well? Do you even still have anything to drink? Come is he here? Come is he here? Snell! Snell! Oh fuck. Can't even shit in peace. That guy really looks like someone I know in real life who actually joined the military and I'm like, what the fuck? Morning, Captain Exit. Yes, sir. How can you even sleep in that cold? There's a lot of shit coming this way. Why don't they even have gloves? Oh, they have gloves. Or not? Some of them. Uh, what'd you get? I got, uh, I got this. And I got myself a crap bandage. This is it? Yep. That's it. That's all you got. I need morphine. That's all I got. You got extra scissors? Two medics in one hole? Yes, sir. What's gonna happen to us if you take it here, huh? The cow duck? No, I need scissors. You got scissors shot. That's one way of doing it. How'd you morphine, guys? Look, you alright? Not good. Here we go again. I feel like being a medic is so stressful. Get that Come on! Stop the orders. Rebel, you don't need this. Not yet. I do. You told me this goddamn virgin. Oh. Replacement of my fossil, Julie. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on, sir! Oh! He was just next to them. What's in these things anyway, huh? Nothing you won't eat, Malarkey. I won't eat, Malarkey. Hey, hey. He just threw it. He legal eats an armpit, huh? <laughs> so I feel like this is mostly about the medic, this episode. What is with that? What's it, huh? No, my name, why she use it? Edward, are you serious? Why the goddamn nuns call me Edward? So, <laughs> what is it then? Who are you, Bruce? Washington, General Taylor's ass. What, dude? Not in this weather. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you can find some of the dead bodies, probably. Scissors. Thank you for coming. 
So he had them all the time. What do you need scissors for if you're not a medic? You ain't using this stuff, are you, Doc? I mean, personal life? Come on. It's like everyone wants something from you. Just drink lots of water. Water? Stop pissing, that hurts. Shut the hell up. Just find the boots. I feel like that's a priority right now because that guy's feet are freezing off. Ooh. Well, at least he has scissors now. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I've seen worse already. I don't think that's what matters right now, Frank. It took a water hit. Watch the leg. Wait, he really looks like the guy I know. I can't get over it. But without the helm, not so much. Ew. Ooh. If I see some man, I'm like, you should be dead already. This, you're not gonna survive this. But yeah, I get that they try to do everything they can. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, nice. If he still has feet by now. Let's move out. That comes, gentlemen. Doctor, come back to trouble. Don't you want to stay back and keep your ass out of trouble, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. I was just waiting there. Are you sure? Oh, you know, I don't think he's gonna... Yeah. I honestly think right now the best thing would be a bullet to the head so he'd stop suffering. His entire throat is open. I really think this is a lost cause. Don't move for coming back for a guy that literally like has blood pouring from his throat. Yeah, that's what they told in the beginning, right? Because in the beginning they were talking about the medic, so it makes sense. So did they go back for Julian? I'm honestly quite sure he's dead by now. Is he looking for him now? That's wrong. Hmm. You still having trouble with your feet? Let me see it. Are they like frozen? It turns gangrene, you could lose it. Oh. You gotta stay dry. Change socks every day and dry the weapons around your neck. Do it. I'm working on it. That's right. I promised him if he got hit, I'd get his stuff and bring it to his mom. You know? Don't fucking cry, so strip him. Hey, no, it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Figure what they're gonna be for a medic. God knows. So you just got picked? Snap of a finger. Just like that, you're a medic. Uh, oh. I honestly thought the medics were just guys who were already kind of like studying to be a doctor or just already knew a bit about it at least and that that's what they based it on, but apparently not. <laughs> Nothing ever goes well, does it? Yeah, I thought so, but then why were they shooting? On the roof. 
Okay, so they're finally getting supplies. That's good. Because I'm also like, these guys need to eat, right? No. But that's what I mean. Like, I get everyone deserves a chance and I get that they try to save everyone. But some people come in there and I'm like, how do you even think you can save these people? It's just fucked up. Where does she get that many? Much chocolate. It's great. You were just like with your hands in someone's belly and then your hands. eating chocolate. Awesome. You're a good nurse. Never want to treat another wounded man again. I'd rather work in a butcher shop. Your touch. God would never give such a painful thing. I can't believe they still haven't found the guy. I hope they would at least try to still go back for him, but I feel like it's impossible for the staff because the other guy promised to his mom. What? Why is he so confused about people calling him by his real name? What's up with Edward? it's getting a bit um, too much for him which I get I feel like it's getting a bit too much for everyone but like I said I feel like being a medic would be so stressful it's your job to take care of everyone and you're just there like yeah kind of trying to survive yourself General McAuliffe wishes us all a Merry Christmas what's merry about all this you ask just this now two days ago the German commander demanded our honorable surrender Save the USA encircled troops from total annihilation. German commander received the following reply. Nuts! Merry Christmas to you all and God bless you. Nuts, sir. Nuts! Yeah, great Christmas. <laughs> okay, but what is up with him? Because in the beginning he was running, he was going for it. And now, I feel like his mental state is not that good right now. She wrote that to him, or? Oh shit! I almost forgot. Lucky strikes means find tobacco. Where the hell did you get those? Merry Christmas, fellas. I'm shaking so goddamn much. I feel like I'm dancing. Oh, seeing this episode, I will I'm never sorry. complain that I'm cold again. It's Fucking hell. A couple of fires not a good idea. A couple of minutes. I swear I thought I could smell a fire. I can smell a fire. They were like, no fire, but I'm gonna take advantage of this fire. So that's what you get for making a fire. That's so fucked up. How do you at one moment sing nice, peaceful Christmas songs and like the other moment you're like, let's shoot our enemy? Do something. I feel like he's a bit out of it. He's not really there or something. What was that for? Yeah, he's not doing well. And like, you can't take care of others if you're like that yourself. Oh. 
Is that the medical center? That is so fucked up. Yeah, I thought so. Get your ass out here! Then you're just wondering like, why are they even fetching these people up? Like they're literally there recovering and then it gets bombed and then they're dead anyway. Like, war is just so stupid to me. It took me a while to realize that his name was Babe. And for some reason I thought everyone was just calling him Babe or something because they thought he was Babe, but... No, but in the beginning I was genuinely confused. I was like, wait, who's calling him Babe? Oh, that's the guy who he always calls Edward. Okay, so December 26th and they were there still with Christmas, so I, it took like another few days then I think and Wow, <laughs> okay, so I think this episode was so good. I think like um, Four is up to now one of my favorites. I think I think that was the one with uh, Michael Cutlass and this one I think this one was first of all heartbreaking um just the story with the nurse and then in the end for them like to bomb all of that and then for him to find out she's dead is so fucked up like they were kind of bonding over some things and it's like i don't know he already wasn't like feeling too good of course you have to take all uh, of course you have to take care of all of these people and it's so fucking hard and then to like bond with someone over the thing that you have to do in this war and you could just see their connection and then for her to die in the end was just i did not see that coming i also just um found this picture apparently these are the real people and it's just every time i see pictures of the real people the realization that this really happened just gets bigger and i'm like fucking hell but like I, the way they told this episode was so insanely good like this battle is quite a big thing and then they fully told it from the perspective of a medic and i think that was such a good like choice i also was just thinking about the scene where uh, they were like oh you just sit back we're going there we're gonna need you after so don't get yourself in trouble and then he waited by the tree and he could hear everything and everything happening like over there and people getting hurt and he's just sitting there and he knows they're gonna need him after and i feel like that was such a powerful moment the way they told this from his perspective i think that was a really smart choice and it really got me I feel like, for example, um, I can't really name an episode now. Maybe the D-Day episode. Like, that was a really good episode as well. But I feel like because it was just, you see them fighting, you see them in war, you see different people. And I'm like, yes, men fighting in a war. The cinematography is super good. The things that happened there are fucked up. But... There wasn't like one person I was following. You just see people going to war. And I feel like to choose to show this battle like this was different and refreshing or something. I also feel like we've seen it a lot now. Yes, they're going to another battle. Yes, they're shooting each other again. It's the same all the time. That's why I think it was a really smart choice to like mix it up a bit like this and um, do it like this. It was very powerful. I might even think this might be my new favorite episode after um, four, I think it was. Because it was really strong and also you could really 
just watching this episode I felt cold and I'm here with my sweater and my blanket and and these people are like suffering in the cold and I was like I can't even imagine what what that must be like it just looked so awful and people were like their feet were freezing off and stuff like that and I'm like fucking hell I thought I couldn't stand the cold, but then I saw that. Yeah, overall, like I said, a really good episode. Um, I'm very excited to watch the last four. Yeah, four. But I gotta say, I like the episodes the most where they really focus on someone. And I feel like they've been doing that multiple times now because they also did that in the previous episode with the sergeant or commander or how you call it. It was still very interesting, but this was just... The story was just so well told. So... Yeah, I think that was my reaction. I'm very curious what you guys thought of it. Um, if you like my reaction, then please leave a like, subscribe. And if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, then make sure to check out my Patreon. And then that was it. Bye!